three high school students in Rio Rancho weren't learning in class. They were busy taking on a major company. What they did in school had the FBI and Secret Service looking for them. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has more. Gabby. Jessica, police say the teens called for a global attack on Infamil, one of the largest companies responsible for making baby formula. Well, it worked, and investigators say it came at the risk of lives. Rio Rancho police say three Cleveland high school teens got the attention of the feds with what they did on a school computer last month. It could have risked somebody's life, which is unacceptable in our eyes. Investigators say 15-year-old Sergio Velasquez, 16-year-old Sylvan Jones, and 17-year-old Joshua Van Gilder organized a total shutdown of the baby formula company Infamil's website from their second period robotics class. By tying up the lines, it interrupted that communication between physicians and the company. According to a police report, the Secret Service contacted school security. Then the FBI said if they couldn't identify suspects, the entire school district would lose access to the Internet. The teens told police they were looking for something to do and sent vulgar messages to Infamil's live chat site. Random things like 666, my baby has a growth, and download my mixed tape. They probably should have had better monitoring. Jennifer Vandal has a freshman at Cleveland High. My kids would know what trouble they would be at at home, much less what they're getting at school. I mean, that could cause a lot of problems for, you know, parents that have babies. The teen said the prank continued for a few days. When Infamil told them they knew their IP address, police say Jones used his phone to access the site 4chan, where he called for hackers to, quote, mess with Infamil and post results. Jones told police he wanted to see if anything funny happened. Moments later, investigators say a global hack disabled not only Infamil's website, but their emergency lines, too. Police say the case is still open and may reach tens of thousands of dollars worth in damages, which could increase the charges. Right now, they're all facing felonies. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. We tried to reach the teens today without any luck. One of the boys told police they were not trying to take down a server. The school did not return our calls to see if the boys will be punished.